Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Arnold standard shaders and how to assign shaders to geometry in Houdini. And I have this scene here with a couple of lights and uh, the tank and a ground. I'm going to switch to the shop context. I'm going to create a standard, Arnold standard. And I'm going to name this tank. And let's give it a different color. And uh, I'm going to create another one for uh, to assign for barrels in um, in the tank individually. So I'm going to create another Arnold light uh, an Arnold standard, and I'm going to call this barrels. And we want to make the color darker and reduce the diffuse. And we're going to create something for the ground. So I'm going to type in Arnold standards again, and we're going to leave the ground as the default. And we're going to switch back to the uh, object context. And there is two ways to assign shaders. We can select the object and use the material. So I'm going to do that here for the ground. Assign the ground. And then for the tank, we have, uh, if we assign a shader here, it's going to affect all the objects of the, of the tank. But we don't want that. We want to assign uh, shaders to individual objects. So if I dive inside, I have separated uh, two groups from the tank. And on the left here, I have the barrels. And on the right, I have the tanks. And I'm going to use a node called uh, set uh, material. And here, we're going to uh, connect the node and then use the material browser. So I'm going to select the barrels. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to create another one here. And we're going to browse for the uh, tank. And now we have assigned the various shaders to the various objects. And let's see, we have a camera here. And uh, I have the Arnold render. And I'm going to hit render. And uh, this is a previous render, so we'll talk about that later. And I don't have the ground, so I'm going to include the ground for now. So you can see the the barrels are um, uh, uh, black. And let's go to the, let's hit render again to get the ground out, to export the ground. And you can see the barrels are um, uh, black and the ground is uh, has the proper shader and the tank as well. So now we can uh, tweak the shaders uh, a bit more. And I'm going to change the camera position, something like this, to get a better uh, a viewing angle of the uh, uh, sunlight. And I'm going to start playing with these values. So the first, the Arnold standard has a few tabs. The first one is the diffuse, second specular, Third is reflection, fourth is refraction, emission, SSS, and AOVs. And the the two most important ones that we're going to be focusing on at this point are the diffuse and the specular. And we have the diffuse color here. We can change it. We can change the tank color if we want to. And you can see we have a live feedback uh, of the interactive rendering. And we can uh, reduce the amount of diffuse that we have. And if we set it to zero, it's basically uh, black. We don't have any, any information because we don't have any specular. And uh, we can control the amount of, we can, uh, this is a global uh, multiplier and we can decide. <clears throat> we also have individual controls to control the direct diffuse and indirect diffuse. And we're going to learn more about these uh, once we get to the uh, render rendering options. And then we have the roughness uh, if we want to uh, create something that is has rougher diffuse, we can use this option here. And this is very helpful to create things like stone and stuff like that. And then uh, this backlight here is uh, can simulate fake translucence. So you can use for uh, you can use this option to get uh, some lighting from uh, from behind uh, passing through the object. And this is very useful for things like uh, leaves and stuff like that. And I uh, think that's pretty much it for the diffuse. And the next one is the specular. And right now it's set to zero and I'm going to start increasing that. And you can see the, the, the 
the higher the value, the more specular we're getting. I'm actually going to turn off diffuse all the way just to see the reflection component of the uh, of the shader. So right now we're getting this much uh, uh, reflection and uh, the direct and specular and indirect specular can, can be used to control uh, the, um, uh, the reflection of the lights versus the object individually. And uh, this is the roughness. So the lower the value, the less blurry the reflection is going to be and the higher the value, the rougher the surface is going to be. So you can see, we can make it very rough to the point where it almost looks like a diffuse material and that's still a reflection. And uh, we have an isotropy control if we want to stretch the specular uh, highlight. And we can also choose uh, to rotate it if we want to. So I'm going to do that. And you can see how the specular is rotating. And this is very useful to create uh, things like brushed metals and cloth and stuff like that. So I'm going to set this back to zero and this is back to zero as well. Uh, sorry, to one. That's the default is, sorry, to zero five. And then we have the um, uh, different types of the uh, specular. And for now, we're going to stick to uh, GGX, which is the latest uh, specular model uh, that Arnold has. And uh, the uh, uh, Fresnel is off by default, so now we're we're not getting any Fresnel effect. And uh, the if we turn on a uh, Fresnel, the we're getting basically zero reflection to the things that are facing directly the camera, and we're getting a hundred percent reflection to things that are far uh, uh, facing away from the uh, from the camera. And we can start uh, increasing that to get more reflection. Um, overall when view it from uh, facing looking straight at the object at the surface normal so we can use that and uh, I think this these are pretty much the most important controls that we uh, were going to be using I'm gonna change the color of the diffuse back to yellow I'm gonna increase the diffuse and uh, leave the specular as well and I think that's pretty much it for the for the main controls of the of the shader. These are the what we're going to be using primarily, uh, and uh, later on we'll talk more about the the, the remaining sections. And for the barrel, I'm actually going to change the camera. And I'm going to pause this. Uh, actually, cancel that. And I'm going to use the interactive rendering. And I'm going to drag on the viewport, and this should give us a live. Uh, preview on the viewport and the advantage of this we can we can move the camera around and we get uh, live feedback and for the barrels I'm going to give them a little bit of reflection and I'm going to turn on for now you can see we have more reflection happening here and we can also introduce some reflection to the ground. So I'm gonna select the ground shader and I'm gonna turn on reflection. And you can see it's it's very reflective now. And I'm gonna turn on the Fresnel uh, falloffs. I'm gonna increase this to get more more reflection. And I'm actually going to reduce the the diffuse just to get reflection only. And I'm going to lower the uh, the roughness so we get clear reflection here. And yeah, and uh, this is this is pretty much it. In the next video, we're going to start talking about the uh, render settings and the various uh, uh, ray types in Arnold. Thanks for watching, and see you in the.